Hey guys, welcome back to Hatch's Hooch. I'm Hatchet, Johnson, and Matt. I'm not all three of those. That's these two guys. True. Uh, uh, this episode, we're going to try a drink. And it's it has liquor in it, but it's not an actual liquor. And uh, I got some story with this one. As uh, always, right? I'm the long-winded storyteller. I mean, yeah. Can't You're not always on the road like Superman over here. You're not always the long-winded storyteller. I think we take turns. Well, yeah. All right, so this is called Swizzle Drink. It is uh, the island of Bermuda's uh, famous drink that they make there. And I've never seen it anywhere else than all the places I've been. The only place it was in uh, Bermuda. So me and my wife went there on our anniversary in September. And uh, when you read about Bermuda, you hear about the Swizzle Inn, and they're called Swizzles. And that's what the locals like to drink. They go and get them. Now... They talk about it's uh, get you messed up real quick, but this bottle is 19%. Regulated. <laughs> so it's like 38 proof. This is compares to like the uh, apple pie that we yeah. make. Yeah. So, and it doesn't say on the bottle, but if I remember correctly, this is like a pineapple juice, uh, mango, orange, and then they put the rum in it. Now, when we were there, we had a fresh pitcher of all fresh juices. Wow. But this was, you know bottled so it has whatever differences in it so is it what well, preservatives it's, it's probably going to preserve it one flavor will probably dominate more than what you remember sure probably. um now the reason half the bottle's gone because when we got back on the uh cruise ship and we were starting to head back we met this old gal in the uh pool on the cruise ship and she was like what's that what's that swizzle so we went and got <laughs> some right and uh Anyway, so this is just the, the country's drink there that they have. Kind of like when you go to the Bahamas, they have sky juice. This, and, and I was just, I, this is the only time I've ever been able to bring something back that's local. And yeah. this guy, bros before hoes, right there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. And uh, so this has been sitting at the house, you know, since September, and we're in February, so I've been waiting to do this so we can, you know, drink it up. Cool. But uh, this is not going to be like our normal. Yeah. Normal whiskeys that we like to drink, but uh, just something that I could bring back from the island. And Bermuda was a beautiful place. When I, you, I hope to go there someday. Oh, I mean, it was fantastic. The beaches were beautiful, and then there was big cliffs, like rock cliffs that you could jump off of, cliff diving. Beautiful place. Uh, it's a British colony, so they drive on the wrong side. Ooh. As I was driving on this I little electric. Oh. Yeah, man, it was tough. And everybody's well, uh, zooming around you. It's like 35 kilometers an hour. This is a wonder why everybody's honking at him. What's going <laughs> on, man? It was tough <laughs> driving down there, but, man, it was beautiful. Uh -huh. So uh, we stopped in, and everything's expensive. We stopped at the Swizzle Inn, and we had lunch. Uh, I had a fish chowder, which is their dish, their national dish there. And my wife had a uh, club sandwich. We had a, a quarter of a pitcher of this Swizzle. And... It was like 60 bucks. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, For a is, sandwich, a, a chowder, and a drink. That is no Cozumel. That is not <laughs> Cozumel. That is not Cozumel. Ooh. Let me tell you. Uh, Go Bermuda. They have no industry in Bermuda. All they rely on is tourism. There's no fresh water. Everything has to be caught. Rainwater. And then, I guess, distilled or whatever. Wow. But yeah, I mean, it's tough to live so there. So they don't do like... Desalinization or anything? I, mean, I, I don't really know for sure, but I just know I read that there's no fresh water on that. Oh, island. that's ridiculous. And oh, come on, man. You're putting the heat to it. So, but <laughs> Bermuda has a lot of uh, traditions and customs that was really different from anywhere I've been. we seen these cats on the side of the road standing at the store, and they had on these real bright, like, pastel-colored shirts, like button-up shirts, and these shorts pastel colored shorts and then they had socks pulled way up to their knees and I'm like what in the piss is that <laughs> as we're driving by on the left side of the road and everybody was honking around us and Carrie's like oh I read about that that's the businessman suit attire here what, <laughs> what? Wow. yeah I mean it was it was, it was trippy man like it, it was it's a different world that's cool yeah. uh, but everybody there is not everybody but most people there are very wealthy you have to be to live there Really? Oh yeah. Well, like I said, everything's so expensive. There's no industry there. I and mean, I mean, you never know. You order a pair. You order a, a you know a ship full of socks and ne and never see it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, back to the swizzle. Smelling. 
I had to smell real hard to get anything out of it. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I, didn't, I smell it, like just the well, alcohol, they, like a little bit of an alcohol smell. If you smell hard yeah, it's, enough, um, if you smell hard, you can get alcohol, but it's orange Kool Aid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it's not even good orange Kool Aid. Uh-uh. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know how sometimes the you didn't get the orange aid uh, lid on tight enough, <laughs> right? And it kind of crusts up, and you pour it in because it's all you got left. Well, kind of get a little of that, right? Yeah. I will say that the uh, fresh swizzle was much, much better than this one, but... But you can smell it. You can try the alcohol. It's going to be good. <laughs> you got it? <sighs> Tastes like soda pop. It does. It's orange crush that's been diluted <laughs> with... No uh, fizz. No fizz. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, mm. I kind of thought it had a good bit of carbonation myself. Not a lot. I, it's not I supposed mean, to have carbonation. Right. That well, might have been because juices. that's because we shook it up. We shook it, but we it's fruit juice. We aerated it. We, we aerated it. We want a correct flavor taste like we had. Shake the bottle. <laughs> it's supposed to be fruit juices, and with this, Matt is on point with that crush with no fizz and add some rum into it. Yeah. I mean, that really is what that tasted like. <laughs> it is. That's exactly I don't think ice is going to change it a whole lot. Just make it cold. I do. No, well, think so? I do. I, I, I can taste um, a distinguishing fruit there. It's like this. Kind of just beating on the back door. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's going to draw it right out of there. Johnson, there's a lot beats on your back door. <laughs> in, in public, this man talks about me like that. <laughs> I guess... Technically, we're not in public because Club Herman is not a public. Private. It's oh, a, yes. This is a private club. Yeah, you got to pay a membership fee to smoke in here. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not a big rum fan anyway, but um, it, this has got like the white rum in it. Uh, the white rum Which, is, is, a, is a, a big thing a lot of people like. A lot of people. Rum. Psycho loves it, but now... Yeah. Uh, the rum that's in this is, and this bottle here is also made by the only uh, rum place there on the island is Gosling, and which you can buy that in the liquor stores here in North Carolina. Matter of fact, right here, this bottle came from Bermuda, but you can buy this in our liquor stores. Um, this is the black rum. They have a gold seal, and they also have a silver or, or white rum, mm-hmm. clear rum. So check out that, you know, but that's the rum that's in this. All right. I don't really see how this is going to change. I don't know. It, it did, and I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> what, what fruit did you say was in it again? I think it's uh, mango, pineapple and pineapple. mango. And orange, you and see. And orange, I think, yeah. yeah. But, you yeah, know. We, we could probably make this much better than this so, bottle. Yeah, but sure. But, but, we could know, just go to the store. Get the rum. We don't get, actually have the chance for true tropical fruit. He said we have to go to the store and most of the time, the fruit that we get is set somewhere for at least six months. And <laughs> it has. I don't think well, it's set quite that long. It is, it is. Well, it I mean, we, is. we talked about this earlier, Johnson. We can go down to the sale on Thursdays, and all the Mexicans down there has got every fruit across <laughs> no, the world. That's a little different. So, I mean, that's where <laughs> well, the fresh that, But that is. comes in in a box truck. So. Sure. <laughs> that's been sitting for three months. Right. All right. Good oh, stuff. let's smell okay, Yeah, I do, I do catch what you're saying okay. there. Okay. It mutated. What is that? <laughs> I asked for the fruit because I didn't understand. That's the island monster. Um, I'm thinking that is uh, that is a real mango is what I'm thinking that is. That's the, a tropical grown mango. It's um, even more diluted orange crush. Mm. <laughs> With the ice. That was much better cold. I don't agree with that. No? I feel like it's the same flavor. It's close to the same flavor, but it muted just enough to make it weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, I liked it better hot, personally. But, I mean, again, it's orange crush with rum in it. So <laughs> right? It's I had, shook up orange crush with, with, with rum. I had the thought of a couple of our first attempts of apple pie. Hmm. If um, Because you're adding sugar to liquor... And we were doing it right after the liquor had just, just aged to the point that we could do it. Um, or, you know, uh, as far as drawing it out. Because at one point, if you remember, we had this teeny tiny little pot on oh, top yeah. of the stove. We were eager to know how you make moonshine. Science project. Come on over, John boy. So we had this teeny tiny, about yay big, little pressure cooker pot. 
He man, I've been reading about it. No, we just core in right here <laughs> and we go get this little fitting and do it anyways. Cork screwed down about two foot into a white bucket and he'd say, Yeah, get some more ice out the fridge right there. <laughs> and we kept putting the ice on and chill it down so that it actually drip out. So by the time we're done, we had this teeny tiny little jelly jar is about to spin. <laughs> like, we it had, it. That we split about six ways and about this much liquor in it. So we realized it was possible, and it didn't taste bad. We rushed everything about it to figure it out, and then uh, we decided one day we would actually try to do one a little slower, and realized that it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And that's where the field corn comes in. I love field corn whiskey. I love it. And that pertains to Swizzle <laughs> well, uh, Yeah, sorry, sorry, rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, because I thought about the fact that it it has some of the. Uh, I mean, you can really tell that. Someone hands-on made this. Yeah. Okay, you know it's got it's got a little bit of um, reality to it. It's not it's not processed to the point that you can't describe what it is. You know, if you don't get it uh, before this day, it's going to taste different. If you get it, you know, a, a year from now, it's going to have a completely Oops. different flavor. So, well, I didn't bring this back because I really enjoyed the swizzle. I mean, it was decent. It was just like another tropical drink that you get mm -hmm. but i brought it back because it's from the island and that's the only place in the world that has this that's awesome so i wanted to share it with y'all eh, i'm not a big fan of it i'm not gonna say get some at the end of this video right um i i mean i don't think it's you know it's I, not bad it's not bad it's not but, don't be afraid but, to get this when you get there i mean no yeah. try it there if you go to bermuda fresh. you've got to try it right i mean that's that's the way it, that's why you travel well, like you said there, there's you know this is what they got there's not you know they're catching the fish right there. Like they they don't they don't have like an industry. You can't go down the road and, and they're they're making the socks that you're buying at the local Kmart. It's not how it works there. So everything's think, imported, right? And think if you're if you're in Mexico and you're after tequila, you you, you can you come across it. some true raw tequila that's going to taste completely different sure. than how it did in the Americans. You know, so sure. Yeah. And 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 that's what that's what this is. That's a good. This is a of, bottled. Shit, you know, this that you can Bermuda, take home. It's you know? not, it's I not mean, that great. But the, this, the fresh this, stuff was really good. It's just, it's just, a, it's, all this is is just to remember your trip. Sure. And yep. I'm sure that this little, this little tasting right here kind of jogged memories for him. And, and hopefully one day we'll all get down there and then we can have, we can bring back a bottle of this and have the same thing. Actually, it's over there. Down here, <laughs> down there, <laughs> over there, yeah. over here, wherever. Uh, Bermuda's just off of North Carolina's coast. Way out there. Way out there. <laughs> Way out there. But, well, uh, here's, the, here's what I would say. For, for the live guys that's watching us, um, this, you can tell, we're not used to doing a mixed drink. We're, 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 this is us rawly experiencing, you know, trying to grab flavors in, in a drink that's all mixed together and blended up and, and shipped. And then, you know, well, like he said, he's had the original version. I'm sure you can taste each and every one of the, like the pineapple would be there, the mango oh, yeah. would be there, it'd all be strong, and the ice would be what blended it all together. You know? And it was I mean, strong. The flavor was going to be there. It was a lot so, more than any 19%. Yeah, I bet it's really, it is. really good. It was, it was very strong there. Um, I mean, when you're there, it'd be, it'd be raw. I mean, it'd be good. It'd be real good. So, it ain't like you can go out and get this at the liquor store. Right. But, uh... If you've been to Bermuda and you've tried this, maybe this video will make some sense to you. I mean, but comment, yeah, <clears throat> comment, comment what you thought about it. I um, mean, we're we're, you know, we're struggling around for words here on on what we agree on for sure. Yeah, you know. So uh, if you could get it, I'd say try it. I mean, yeah, I think this bottle was probably uh, forty bucks because really? Bermuda yeah. is so expensive. Oh, yeah, it was dang. insane. Um, actually, this pint bottle right here was twenty. Mm. You know, and we can get it at our liquor store well, for a lot cheaper. After hearing the price point, <laughs> I feel like this is your best friend from high school. Said, "No, my uncle Joey, he makes some good homebrew. You either get it or you don't." <laughs> you know, so uh, it's not worth the money. Definitely not. Uh, it's not even that great of a drink. But when you're in Bermuda, man, that's what you drink. Yeah. So. Yeah. And and again, like he said already too, it's better buying it there that's not Fresh. been packaged. Like yeah. sure. This this export is no. It, I mean, it's not it's not terrible, but it's also not great. So right. if you're planning to go to Bermuda, three four days before you go, Google it, order it, 
two days before you go, sip it, <laughs> and then comment the difference between the two. Because, <laughs> you know, it's going to be drastic, I'm sure. Uh, but I will say that the Swizzle Inn had terrific food. Yeah. And uh, in cool. our n uh, next Gosling, uh, the Black, I've got a story about the food there. So, with that rum. So, uh, anything to add? Um... Yeah, no. Support your local distillery. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Hatches Hooch, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>